Hey, as bad as you think Project 2025 is, I just found out that it's worse. As I was just on a call and I found out about some stuff that even I didn't know was in there and I took notes. Now, of course, we all know that Project 2025 is an extreme, unprecedented plan by the Republicans that will fundamentally alter the American government and make Trump way more powerful in a second presidency, not only than he was before, but than any American president has ever been. We know that Trump's campaign advisors and close allies wrote it, and they are now doing everything in their power to get him elected so that he can execute it immediately, like on day one. The good news, if you can call it that, is that most Americans are getting more aware of Project 2025, so they know things about it like it would ban nationally, as well as IVF, on day one. It would enable Trump to conduct the largest deportation operation in American history. It would get rid of the Department Department of Education. It would allow the president to fire tens of thousands of civil servants, and this is people like intelligence officers, engineers, federal prosecutors, and replace them with Trump loyalists. It would allow the president to weaponize the DOJ against his perceived enemies. Trump has bragged about all of this. We know these are all things he desperately wants to do. It would also make it way easier to horribly discriminate against LGBTQ people, including getting rid of marriage equality. But then there's a bunch of stuff that people are not as aware of. Did you know that it would also take away workers' rights to organize, allow employers to stop paying hourly workers overtime, get rid of no-fault divorce, allow the government to monitor people's pregnancies to potentially prosecute them for, it would remove health care protections for people with pre-existing conditions, it would eliminate the National Weather Service, which is currently responsible for preparing for extreme weather events like heat waves, floods, and wildfires, it would eliminate the Head Start program, which would get rid of preschool education for children of low-income families, it would put a new tax on health insurance for the millions of people who get health Health insurance through their employer. It would change tax brackets so the wealthy would pay an even lower percentage of their wealth in taxes than they do now. It would ban anything they consider P-O-R-N-O -O and imprison its distributors. It would insert Christian nationalist ideology into the military. You know how Joe Biden made it possible for Medicare to negotiate with drug companies to lower drug costs and also got the $35 cap on insulin prices? Project 2025 would ban all of that. It would cut Social Security benefits by raising the retirement age. It would allow employers to deny employees access to birth control. It would undo all Biden-era environmental progress and replace all green energy with oil and nuclear. It would disintegrate the separation between church and state, forcing students, for example, to have to read the Bible and pray in school. It would gut the red flag provisions that are preventing at-risk individuals from accessing firearms. It would increase the size of the military budget while cutting spending on domestic programs. It would ban U.S. Cyber Command from participating in federal efforts to protect elections. Project 2025 also lays out a plan to defund public transit. I could go on. It's over 900 pages, and every single one of these things will happen, you guys. These are things that Trump has talked about, fantasized about, and that the people who are pulling his puppet strings are hell-bent on accomplishing should he win. It is a takeover by Trump and his loyalists, including his loyalists on the Supreme Court. This plot threatens our rights and freedoms, it threatens our democracy, and it threatens our pocketbooks, big time. All to help corporations, billionaires, and Donald Trump himself. They want power, they want control, this plan gives it to them and takes it away from us. And it will happen if we lose in November. Spread the word.